we request our vice chancellor now to address the audience with an inspiring speech thank you so much i, I must first congratulate emmrc for organizing uh, women's day program uh, this is the third or fourth program uh, in a row i must congratulate the entire team of emmrc i think the the university wakes up to international women's day when emmrc tries to you know uh, garner the support and you get to see pictures everywhere i think that's a wonderful way of acknowledging the woman power let me say that and uh, uh, jwala gutta and uh, sumati ji welcome to eflu it's always a pleasure to have women who've accomplished something in life uh, uh, you know uh, the sports women need all the support all the encouragement because they do not have a normal childhood one needs to understand that there's a lot of sacrifice there you know that there's a lot of time and effort that one puts into the game and only then one comes up to the national and international level i think a uh, huge round of applause for ms jwala gupta there Miss Sumati, you know IPS. I've I, uh, I've I've seen lot of IPS officers, and uh, been part of the process of uh, UPSC and things like that. So I know what it takes to reach at that level. It's not easy. I'm sure some of our own students may be going in for uh, exams there, competitive exams. It's not an easy. Uh, exam to take or the interview is uh, uh, you know very very grinding and when women come up to the level of being uh, a dcp or you come up to the level of uh, being a commissioner of police i think that's something that we should be very proud of so a lot of hard work a lot of diligence that has gone into it so to me there are three qualities which are absolutely essential for any woman not just a woman even for men probably that are required to come up in life that would be determination determination to set a goal seek your goals and see that you fulfill and for that di diligence so very important without hard work you reach nowhere dedication if you do not have dedication you don't reach anywhere you know you have to hold on to these three d's and move forward it's only then that you achieve something it's only then that you are able to accomplish your goals you know you are able to satisfy yourself that's where i believe that uh, uh, the girls in our society the entire country i think what they need today is self esteem a belief in themselves i think it's it's parents job to give them that sense of belief that sense of faith in oneself that i can do it if we can give that to our children to our daughters i think they can do anything in this world you know you look at women anywhere any part of the world what have they not been able to achieve nothing has been impossible for them so it's just that little push that the parents need to give stop making the distinction between a boy and a girl give them the confidence that they need you know and, and then you are there i think it's very very important uh, maya angelo had said very beautifully you may be defeated but don't defeat yourself the world may defeat you but you don't defeat yourself so you for that you need to have the confidence you need to have the self esteem and that can come only when parents teachers friends colleagues support them you know um, when i look at i was just telling jwala when we came in i said there are more boys than uh, women here and that's thanks to you uh, 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 you know there the lot of and i was very happy because uh, uh, it's it's important to acknowledge i'm glad the boys are there you know because here is a, a young girl who has been able to achieve through de dint and determination you know apart from the looks generally generally we like to attribute success to looks 
we would like to attribute it to the parents we would like to attribute it to the husband to whoever is around but never to the person herself i think that's something we should stop doing we should acknowledge and appreciate the girl the woman for what she is i think that will be the make you know that will be the beginning of a new society you know today when i saw a number of uh, students here it it made my heart feel uh, very proud of my students here you know this is one university who has been able to scale and uh, overcome many hurdles many problems today we see our students doing exceedingly well wherever i go people say oh your university is doing very well you know that that's uh, uh, that's something that makes me feel very proud and when do when the police officers do come they're happy to come here because they're not coming to chase a problem you know they're coming here to give us an some kind of encouragement saying that this is a good university i think that's something that we need to own up to and say yes we are good now the day we start appreciating ourselves i think self esteem will build i think that's very very important and uh, uh, you know uh, there's a very simple share which i would like to share with all of you uh, Uh, i somehow felt every time that i faced challenges in life i told myself get ready for another battle the morning when i get up i say next one so let's get ready you know face it full on because what you have on your side is truth is justice because you're not trying to harm anyone you're not trying to undo anything you're only trying to build something so uh, this is in that context humne bana liya naya fir se aashiyana humne bana liya naya fir se naya aashiyana jao ye baat fir kisi toofan se kaho jao ye baat fir kisi toofan se kaho you know challenges are part of life challenges are always part of life i generally say that life is treacherous it's not going to be an easy journey so what we need is courage and faith in ourselves and courage expands with your belief believe me the more courageous you are you will be even more determined to succeed so try to build that faith in yourself and i think every girl every boy will be able to reach the goal that he or she has set for themselves now i must thank uh, some of the employees some some of the well wishers who have found uh, found or formed professor sunaina singh foundation so i'm privileged honored here and now i am part of that foundation you know uh, our culture per se a few words i'm watching the watch right there so i don't want to take too much of your time in our culture it what we call education is vidya dan you know it's vidya dan it's a gift of knowledge if we are able to do that then we've done everything in a spiritual tradition mind you spiritual is not religious in a spiritual tradition there are four aspects and that is kriya charya gyan and yog kriya is discipline ritual you know charya is ethics not character ethics gyan is knowledge yog is meditation or applying yourself all these four went together if they don't go together you don't have adequate knowledge knowledge does not we may we may be educated but we will be illiterate you know so it's very important to have a composite view of what vidya dan is in our culture so this foundation aims at educating girls from marginalized underprivileged 
section this is work in progress it is just we are young we've just started two years three years you know and uh, this has been i must acknowledge uh, the founders of this foundation i must tell put it on record this evening that these are all middle class lower middle class people who have some for some reason wanted to pay a tribute to me and they have pledge to keep aside 5% 10% of their salary to educate these young girls today i thank them all i'm part of it now and many of my friends are very proud that we do something like this and yet it is work in progress because as the girls grow their ambitions grow they must come to us and say that I know I can do it. Can we get some support? I think that is what we are looking for. Why do I say this? They should come to us. They sh they will come to us when they have faith in themselves. And for me, that is very important. Belief in oneself is very important in life. That you can do it, no matter what. I generally say in my dictionary, there is no such thing as impossible. This word does not exist. i give 200% and then i leave it to god but give 200% no compromise anywhere so you need to believe in yourself have that faith and push your boundaries as hard as you can and your parents will support you your friends will support you your family will support you i think it's very important as we keep growing uh, people around us must have faith in us you know at 2 o'clock you need to ask who do you want to go you know that there's somebody who will believe and help and do whatever you want so i think that that's the kind of uh, uh, ethics charya that one must develop because that's part of our culture it's also important to acknowledge that this foundation uh, has started from english and foreign languages university you know it's 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 a pan indian university very international in in many many ways but when we start from here i believe that we can reach up to wherever we want so uh, th there's no destination per se i believe in journey not in destinations journey is very important so chart your journey believe in yourself and uh, i i hope the mothers sitting here the fathers the would be parents the young students here give your daughters a belief in themselves give them all that you can i don't believe that others need to protect us if i have courage i should know how to protect myself i should know what is good for me i should know how to move forward in life with dignity and elegance and decency and not be little one self in any which way in any which way no compromise with one self respect so these are some of the things that uh, girls need to be taught and we need to cultivate some of us have to cultivate that no matter what our age and uh, always stand with your head held high you know so that you can you can look at anybody and just move forward and say that i'm ready to face the world i think that should be the attitude and on this day when we have two uh, 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 achievers sitting with us i and i think many more achievers here in the audience who will set out to achieve accomplish i hope to meet some of you at at some juncture in life as somebody you know i have many students of mine who come up to me and say well i have been your student and i'm so proud you know so that that that's something that i would want to see from this gathering here so thank you and uh, my best wishes to the foundation we will do our best we will do our best to educate it's a work in progress we've given fellowships to uh, a small number of students we pay the years fee and uh, we will do much more in the years to come Thank you.